Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever Series 2 The Great Lakes. Thank you very much for joining me in this video and we're going to start over here in St. Louis. Now why St. Louis you may ask? Well the first thing is off camera I've managed to upgrade this to a high-speed rail station. Why? Who knows? All the trains stop here so there really isn't any point to me doing this but I've done it and uh, there you go it looks like this we've also got the uh, the Madison st. Louis line which is housing some of the oldest trains and it actually is the oldest line we've got I think in this series so we've got one of those trains popped in here but the reason I started here is because in this episode this station is about to become really really busy because in the next 20 minutes we are going to be ensuring that the Great Lakes lines both clockwise and anti-clockwise have trains on them and we're going to start monitoring them so make sure you stay tuned for the next 20 minutes or so to see that. Okay, so just a short hop back over from the station. The station's right there. And we're going to be selecting the trains. Now, we have a couple of trains there that we don't really want to touch. Uh, we've got nothing in there and we have nothing in there. So I tell you what, let's take this train depot right here and let's work out what trains we want. In fact, before we work out what trains we want, as it lags quite severely, before we work out what trains we want, let me show you the lines. That's probably a good idea. There we go. There you go. You can see the lines quite clearly. So we're just going to do a quick run around the lines just to uh, so that we know where we go. Let's go clockwise. So we're going to be following the uh, black line, which is the Great Lakes clockwise. And you can see that from St. Louis, which is one of its terminus stations, it goes over here, crosses over, and then continues along this route that we have been working on by getting the trains to go over. Uh, the freight trains to go over. Now the reason we did this was this very reason to ensure that the Great Lakes lines have a clear route in and out and do not have to wait. So if we follow along this place you can see we go over the crossing another one of those Madison uh, Madison St. Louis trains come along to this point and then it goes into Chicago. Now in Chicago it switches over to these two platforms here. So this platform which is shared with the Madison line and who knows what the other platform's shared with. That platform's empty. So then we've got an empty platform clockwise and the anti-clockwise has got to share with the Madison St. Louis commuter service which is absolutely fine. No real problems there. Uh, what I could do is just looking at this uh, no, there's no point because there's no train going in there. If there was any train going in there, I would have put a signal somewhere to stop the trains. We don't have to worry about that. Out of Chicago Union Station, it continues along this way. And as you can see, it comes back over to the double track. Now, this double track section, I think, is going to be very, very busy. So I'm, I'm not sure what we're going to have to do through there. We might have to do something. But then it splits quite quickly into four track as we get the four track running a few episodes ago and passes right through Milwaukee back onto two track following along the highway up towards Green Bay. As you can see, it pretty much matches the highway or the highway matches it, whichever way you want to see it. Right into Green Bay and again stays on the center and passes right through the middle of Green Bay, not stopping. So it is an express service going right through whilst the great, uh, while the Lake Michigan Loop line is the one that stops there. Uh, ignore that can I'm going that way. That's just a temporary fix. You saw in the last episode what I was doing with them. So it goes across the bridge nice and swiftly. Right around here, continuing along. And then as you can see, this is one bit that we need to sort of figure out what's going on. So that's something we're going to fix immediately because, I mean, that that does look a little odd, the, the way the three tracks are going or the four tracks have become two in a very, very strange fashion. So we're just going to fix that right now. And the way we're going to fix that is we're just going to peel this back like so, right up to that point. And we are going to get these two to go on the middle tracks. Nope. And that one to go on the middle track. Like that. And then we're just going to swing this out at high speed. And do that. And where's the junction? There it is. Do the exact same thing here. 
Hopefully that matches. That does match, perfect. And there we go, that's that sorted. So now we've got that running. Uh, there shouldn't be any problems with any lines if we have a look at that. No problems with any lines, brilliant. Continuing along, we're going to be going to Sault Ste. Marie and as you can see, we do stop at Sault Ste. Marie. Sault Ste. Marie is one of our stops. So that's great. Following on out from Sault Ste. Marie, we're going to go across this bridge and we're going to be on the Canadian main line now. So as we go onto the Canadian main line, we're going to follow it along all the way. As you can see, staying in the middle, sticking in the middle all the way through. That way is Thunder Bay. We're not going to be going towards Thunder Bay. We're going to be going this way, continuing along here, and then we're going to pass right through Sudbury. Now, there is going to be an episode of Sudbury building coming up, so make sure you guys are ready for that. And then we're going to keep following this along. As you can see, Toronto is out that way, but we're not going towards Toronto. We're going to peel off towards Ottawa along this two track, along this section of two track, which might need to go to four track soon. It goes to four track here, and then we are going to be stopping in Ottawa. Going around from Ottawa, we're going to peel off this way back to two track, but this section of track is not really that busy at all. Under a tunnel, out again, under another tunnel, around the side of Lake Ontario, going around here, joining back up to the New York Central Main Line, or the 20th Century Main Line. This is the New York, that way is New York City, or the state of, well, we're in the state of New York now. That way is basically New York City and uh, Rhode Island, and I think Boston, you can go that way, so on and so forth. We're going to be crossing right over from here, r right across. Now we could do a really odd bridge section here at some point uh, which we might be looking at at some point but not quite yet we're going to cross over and then go over to the new railways that we've been laying down a few episodes ago as you can see the new railway winds through the mountains of pennsylvania or the mountains between the states of new york and pennsylvania goes in and out across a lot of bridges winding around in and out through the mountains under a tunnel comes out goes over one of our original freight stations goes there goes right past another one of the freight stations then splits into two and goes along this convoluted junction to the washington approach and then at the washington approach as you can see the anti-clockwise one goes across that bridge the clockwise one goes across that bridge out from there that's another terminus we're going to be going back this way as you can see so we go back out this way and there you go you can see where the anti-clockwise one is now we're going to be on the outside for this which might not be the best of ideas but we're going to see what happens we might have to switch this to the inside at some point but we remain on the outside through this all the way up we're going to pass through pittsburgh pittsburgh is the one station i cannot seem to upgrade and that's the station that really needs it so we're going to be continuing along here going all the way along through the tracks that we all know into Columbus. We're going to be stopping in Columbus, I believe. Uh, yes, we do stop in Columbus. And then from Columbus, we're actually going to go past Cincinnati and then going to peel off this way under the tunnel that we did a couple of episodes ago or around the uh, branch line or the, the uh, junction that we did, I don't know when, some many episodes ago. Then along this route that we set up, then along the new four track route that we've set up, where this used to be two track, that's now four track, going right the way across and back into St. Louis. So that's the line. That's the line. Now the trains that are going to be running this line. I said we might be going to diesel, but I found one more perfect steam train and I like steam trains. So we're going to be going for one more steam train and this is going to be the last steam train you see on the railways. And the steam train is, is, if I can find it, is anytime now i'm going to find it it is apparently it isn't you know what it'd help if i go locomotives and steam it is the k4 pacific there you go the standard locomotive of the standard railroad of the world it was available from 1914. It was a mod that I found and I installed. But look at the speed, 90 miles an hour. I think that's going to do as well until the well into the 1980s where we're going to switch to Amtrak trains. So that is going to be the train of choice for both northbound or clockwise and anti-clockwise. So we're going to do that. 
and we're now going to go to the wagons and the wagons we are going to be using are going to be the heavyweight parlor wagons that were available from 1915 uh actually 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 could i go for the all-american golden sands Ooh. The former Southern Pacific coach, Golden Sands, was operated by All-America. Uh, no, you know what? Bec the problem is we do have a lack of vehicles that are available. And that's why I have to pick certain vehicles at certain times that I perhaps don't want to. But I think the heavyweight parlay is going to do us quite nicely. And we're actually going to paint it black and the other one's going to be sort of uh, a grey. So that's going to be the two colours. So we're going to have a, a grey train. Uh, with a black coaches or grey coaches. How many coaches though? I think it should have eight. This is going to be a huge train. It's going to be carrying eight. And we're going to have uh, five of them running. We're going to have five trains running, all with eight. Yeah, all with eight carriages. That's what we're going to be doing. So we're actually going to set these up now. And we're going to get them going one at a time. Uh, how are we going to do this? I'll tell you what, let's save this. And what we should do is we should probably grab our other locomotives, those ones, and go for the, get the right, yeah, get these ones too in the right color. So let's go for the could we go for white? We could go for black and white. Yeah, sure. Why not? That's as long as we want them. Also, carrying five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Brilliant. So now we know exactly what we've got. We are going to get these rolling one step at a time in this video. So here we go. Uh, we're going to go for Great Lakes clockwise followed by Great Lakes anti-clockwise okay and let's watch the rollout of these brand new trains which way should, where should we watch the rollout from this point I think this point's good uh, hang on let's wait for it to roll out ensure that it does actually roll out a very very strange um see a Pennsylvania sign on that that's a very strange whistle but that's okay I like different whistles let's speed this up a little bit so that we can see the rollout all right time to see a rollout time to upgrade these no we're not going to upgrade them There's the rollout of our brand new trains. There they are, looking beautiful as they approach the station. Taking pictures of this. And they are long trains. They are pretty much, for, for this series, they are a full length train at 232 meters I mean okay admittedly it's not really the, the full length train that it should be but that is the full length train now, as you can see it's going to carry nobody but what we've got to do is we've got to keep an eye on it why are you not moving is there no dwarf signal for you right here there isn't oh that's different I didn't realize that all right we're going to watch that because we then have to take and we're go going to watch this one because then as soon as that reaches Chicago we should really let the next one go and for this one as soon as it reaches Columbus I suppose we should let the next one go so this is going to be very interesting uh, to, to have running but we're then going to do a ride along in the next couple of episodes ah see we've still got problems with we've still got issues with signals which is what we're going to have to clean up too 
but the next the next couple of episodes are then going to be ride-alongs with these trains so make sure you guys are stay uh, tuned in for both of those episodes so you got a sneak preview of what's going on that's about to approach Chicago that's now coming into Chicago you can now go you're in Chicago you go look at that look at that one there just in that window that looks awesome that looks so awesome that does Right, so now I need to keep an eye on you and not you. This one's almost at Cincinnati. I suppose I should release it at Cincinnati. No, we'll release it at Columbus as we initially intended. So we're ready to let it go. Almost there. Doing a good rate of knots. And that is Columbus, right? That's Columbus, you go. Oh, you're waiting for another train to clear the safe station, aren't you? Ah, bother. Which means by the time that you've done that, you should be able to go too. So we should be able to get the second one going. Yeah, we, we, this should work. This should work out. And then, as a matter of fact, after that one goes, we should be able to get the next one going, just like that. That that whistle is going to start getting annoying, I feel. But, uh, you know what? That's okay. And we're going to try and run these through the 1980s for a while. I know, it's, I know they're not supposed to be steam trains, but this is just because of how things have panned out. Okay, and that one's gone, so now next up should be you. So you're the next one to go. Shush. Now, ideally this should pan out correct. But we're going to see, we are going to see. And let me know, guys, if you like this, uh, the return to the 20, mo 20 minute, three times a week format. I think it, I think it might work better. Uh, slightly shorter videos, but more videos a week. I think it might work better, not just for viewing, because, you know, then people can watch more videos in a single day that they want to watch. But I think it might work better just in general uh, because of uh, YouTube, the way YouTube works. So let me know if you guys like this. And then I'll decide from there whether whether to stick with the three twenty minutes again, particularly in season three, which uh, if you are one of my patrons, you've seen the work that I've been doing in it. So if you do want to see the work that I'm doing to bring season three together, uh, do I recommend you become one of my patrons? www.patreon.com/ecgadget. Uh, there you go. You can see that we've got a few things still available. so much horrible noise but yeah we'll run these through maybe until the 1990s and then go straight to the phase 3 Amtraks maybe maybe like I said I'm not decided but I'm definitely going to be changing other trains over to electric that's that, that is definitely going to happen that blasted whistle So after this one, we can just let the other two trains go. And we're about to see. We'll, we'll be able to see how many passengers are waiting, I suppose. Uh, how do I do that? Hold on. How, how do I do that? I, I'm... I've forgotten how to do that. Zero. One. Eleven. We'll see if that builds up. 47, 9, that's telling you something. That's definitely saying something, that is. And here come the last trains. So you can go next. Followed by you. 
All right, so now let's have a quick look. In fact, let's save this right here because we're going to catch the last trains out. So these last trains are the ones that we're going to catch out. In fact, I should probably pause it and then save it. There we go. Fantastic. So we're coming up to the end of this episode anyway. I'll go for another couple of minutes. But let's have a let's have a good look at what we can see in terms of passenger passenger counts. That one I don't understand. That I just don't understand why people are waiting for those lines. They shouldn't be waiting for those lines at all. But apparently people are waiting for those lines. We're going to have to fix that. I don't know who keeps waiting for those lines. It's silly. Because nobody should be able to be dropped off at a freight station. Alright. There's that train. So we're just going to follow it along just for a couple of minutes. There's the museum lines. And perhaps we should start at a freight station then for those and end at a freight station too. Yeah, maybe we should do that. Alright, how many are you going to pick up? How many are you going to pick up? Tell me you're going to pick up, or you're going to pick up 12. Rubbish. But you know what? It's okay. It's okay. We're going to see what happens on this. There's the phase 3 Amtraks. A uh, few passengers. Who are you? You're one of the anti-clockwise ones. Good. We've... That's a, that's a good sign. That's a really good sign. And then one of those. Who, how many are you going to pick up? Nobody, because I'm assuming the other guy took everything. Alright, so we're going to have to see if this builds up. Maybe it won't build up, maybe it will. Um, but we, we will definitely have to see. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Transports Fever. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think. If you think that these two lines are going to be popular, put it in the comments box right now. Next episode, we're going to be doing a ride along, probably in the following episode too, uh, with the... Ooh. I don't know which one. We'll probably do a ride along with these clockwise trains. So yeah, we'll do we'll do a ride along with the clockwise trains. And then following on from that, I suppose we're going to have to start uh, fixing things up and seeing if we can streamline and improve uh, the network one last time before the end of the series, uh, as well as get the rest of the freight going. Because I think that is every single line I am going to now need all done. Thank you very much for watching once again. Um, did I say don't forget to support me on Patreon? I might have, but if not, check that in the description box below. Uh, I did say it earlier, I know that. And also follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash ecgadget. Thank you very much for the third time. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Transport Fever, Series 2, The Great Lakes. Aircraft 5 has reached its lifetime and needs to be replaced.